am Haley. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a snack stand for all of the wonderful people bringing us our packages this holiday season. I live in a town of about 26,000. So we're a small town, but we're big enough to where we have, you know, a Walmart, we have famous footwear, we have several standalone stores like that, Marshalls, Ulta, but we aren't quite big enough to have like a mall that just gives you so many more options when it comes to shopping for gifts. So because we're a little more limited, I tend to lean pretty heavy on ordering my gifts, which means we have a lot of packages showing up to our house this time of year. Anyone bringing packages, I just want to make their day a little better, maybe give them something to look forward to instead of going, oh, that ding, same house again. <laughs> Hopefully this will brighten their day and give them a nice treat, a little boost to get them through the rest of their day. So just full disclosure, I am totally copying. I've seen several different variations of kind of a, a snack tray for delivery drivers. Um, but the one that I saw most recently that really inspired me was from Ashley and she has the YouTube channel Till Vacuum Do Us Part. She made this very sleek, modern, uh, three-tiered stand. Fun fact, I actually, 17 years ago, I used to work for UPS. I was a truck loader. So what that looked like was I started a typical work day at 3.45 a.m. I'd go in and we'd basically, you know, we'd have some people unloading the semis at one end. They'd unload all these packages that would come down this huge conveyor belt and you'd have these trucks all backed in against the conveyor belt. And like when I became a truck loader, I had three trucks that I was in charge of loading. So the packages are going down the belt and you just have to watch and be watching for your truck numbers. And then as you grab your packages, they have certain numbers. I'm not sure how they do it now, but this is how they did it 17 years ago. And then according to those numbers, that's how you loaded your truck. And on top of that, you also had to kind of learn your drivers and what their preferences were and kind of just, you know, what stops they had to make first and, and how they liked their bulk packages kind of, you know, loaded onto the truck. So it was a hard job. <laughs> and during um, Christmas, so normally I started work at 345 during Christmas. And this, mind you, this is before online shopping, I think really took off with Amazon going so big and everything. My day during Christmas would start at 1.45 a.m. And it would go until the driver showed up around nine. And then oftentimes they would ask, you know, do you want to be my runner for the day? So some of those runners were actually preloaders who just stayed on because, you know, it's good money. I'm sure a lot has changed since then. I can, I can only imagine. So what I'm going to do is kind of just put together um, a combination of store-bought items. And then I am going to make a few items, um, cookies, brownies, things like that. So I'm just going to pull together the stand and I'm going to get to kind of pulling some treats together, baking up a few things and kind of making it pretty. I have a little sign I'm going to put together and then we'll set off the stand.
got the tray outside. It looks good with our porch set up. We did a few weeks ago. Hopefully they can see it's getting dark now, but when it's daylight, hopefully that little sign is striking enough. So what I did is I found a little bucket, put some little waters in it. I got some body armor. I tried to find like something that was either red or green, but also like a good flavor, strawberry banana. Um, I tried to mix in a combination of store-bought things. I know that some people don't want to eat like homemade items. Totally understand. So I've got some Gardettos, different chips, Cheez-Its, um, and then up top, I have just some granola bars, um, different things like that. I made a little candy cane bouquet so they can either take the whole thing or take one, whatever they want. And then I did make little gift bags. I put three cookies in each bag. I tried to have a combination of like a plain chocolate chip, a brownie, and then one of the chocolate chips dipped in the melted white chocolate chip and then we'll sprinkle on it. Hopefully there's a wide enough variety of goods. I'm kind of curious. I'll be watching to see like what people like, what they don't like, and then I'll just adjust from there. So hopefully they like it. I finished the snack stand. I think it turned out super cute. So just a fun, small way to say thank you, especially for something I depend on so much during the holidays. So anyway, I've got a lot of dishes to wash inside, so I'm going to head back in. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you Is your delivery?